What up, what up, what up, famous people? Y'all check it. We're gonna have a great day of filming today. I can't wait to get started. Boy, I'm excited. We're it's gonna be a great day, G. I feel it in my bones. Yeah! What are we doing today? <laughs> uh, we're gonna start with the vocal exercise. Okay. All right, everybody. So before we get our day of filming started, we gotta do a quick vocal exercise. Let's get everybody on this side of the room. Everybody facing that camera. I'm gonna grab the rain stick. Oh, oh yeah. Let's get everybody in a line there. What? Let's everybody, let's close our eyes and let's just take a moment to be thankful. Be thankful that we're here with friends, we're here, we're healthy. Warning, I am overheating. Please restart. Urgent restart. Warning, restart. Urgent restart. Warning, 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 warning. And let's all imagine the phrase a phrase, our own trademark phrase, everybody's trademark phrase, we'll call it our power phrase. And when we think this phrase, we can imagine it, we can breathe in while saying the phrase, we can breathe out while saying the phrase. And we're just imagining our power phrase, you can whisper it to yourself. Whatever it is that you want to say, whatever it is you want to be, your epitaph, whatever phrase, live, laugh, love, whatever phrase you feel is in your heart. And we're gonna say it while breathing in, under our breaths, just whisper it. And we're just gonna imagine saying it while breathing out. Just letting those negative vibes, whatever negative vibes we have, they're rolling down our back like rain. I want everybody to imagine their special place. The place where you feel the most at home right now. Just imagine that you're there. Wherever you feel the most comfortable in this world, imagine that you're there right now. vocal exercises here to get us warmed up, guys. All right, just make your lips loose, and we're just going to go like this. Just loosen up those lips, everybody. Let's go. Everybody. Loosen up those lips. Get that face. This is your instrument. As an actor, as a vocalist, this is your instrument. Okay. And now let's pull our face back like this. Nice and gentle, just stretch it out. This is your instrument as an actor. Your face needs to be flexible, needs to be warmed up. You should do this every day, really. You're about to go on camera. Let's loosen up those jowls, get this thing nice and loose, okay? Now, let's make the mouth small. Mmm. Pucker it like that. Mmm. Small face. Scrunch your whole face up. Mmm. Mmm. Get that nasal voice activated. Mmm. Now wide, open your face. Ah! Now ah, ah, from the chest to the stomach. Ah! 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 ah, 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 ah. <laughs> 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 
vocal exercises? Uh, let's do uh, do re mi fa so la ti. Okay, everybody. Do re mi. Are you Ben? Can you do it? You have a you you have a better key than me. Yeah, of course. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna sing. You just follow after me. Okay, here we go. Okay. Do re mi fa so la ti do. 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 So la ti do, do re mi fa so la ti do. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, I think that's good for the uh, warm up. G. I think we're ready to move into the next thing. All right. Check, y'all. Since we got some new blood in the house. Hold, hold camera on reaction shots, please. Oh, one one camera. camera at least. One, one camera at least. Check it, y'all. We got some new blood in here. <clears throat> Check it, y'all. We got some new blood in the famous house. Our new alpha male who's taken over the position as top dog. Check it, y'all. We got some new blood here in the famous house. Our new alpha male who's taking over position as top dog, Connor Rush. Where's my claps? Yeah. Hey, uh, Rather, I'm in. They Tom brought me here for his position as the dominant male in the house. He's kicking ass and taking names, cleaning, cleaning up, and making it count where it counts. If you know what I'm saying, bro. Thank you. Rather, hey, remember? In honor of Connor's background as an amateur professional, <clears throat> in honor of Connor's background as a professional wrestler today, we're going to be cutting some wrestling promos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now, we just, do we, now we're going to set them up. So let's get everybody lined up. Actually, that's good right where they are. Um, okay. Pack it in tighter. Get closer to each other, though, because the camera, we're going to just get in close. Everybody get in close. So the way, the way we're going to run this, um, you want to step forward. So we'll start with Smack, and she'll step forward, and then we'll just move down the line there. And you guys in the background. The they, should step, they should step in the center, though, so that everybody's in the background. Yeah. Okay, so when it's your turn, you're going to step forward to right here. Camera, you should probably be about where that green chair is, I would imagine. And uh, you're going you're gonna to cut a wrestling promo into the camera as long as you it's want. Hot mic down. And if you don't know what that is, Connor's going to lead off. He's going to show you. He's going to show what it's about. You feel free to call out anybody in the house. You don't necessarily have to, but talk about what kind of impact you're going to make here on the house. And uh, well, tell them to turn it down. And you know, Connor, you, because you're a freeloader, you are eligible to get famous bucks. In which case, if you're getting the famous bucks, these guys aren't going to be getting the famous bucks. So you're here to take money from these people, essentially. So you can say something about that. Is he allowed to steal our famous bucks? No. Okay. Cool. Cool. And guys, if you feel a little cringy doing this, that's okay. We want you guys to be very bombastic, high energy, and don't feel embarrassed about doing this, okay? I want you guys to really go over the top for this one, please. But just follow Connor's lead. This guy's a badass. He knows what he's doing, okay? So just take notes from him and do what do what you think, uh, do what Connor would do. For and if you're in the background of the shot, I want to see some mean mugs. Get, get angry, look intimidating. Uh, that's what we want from the people in the back, please. Should we start with Connor so we can show him how it's done? Yes. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Wednesday night, 8 o'clock. I got a call. He said, there was a show. You needed to be safe. So I showed up, came, then I walked into the bedroom where everyone said. The first thing I thought to myself, they made the right choice. Because I just look around, and I just see kind of losers. Just losers. Whoa. Like, the fact that they're just not giving me all the money and just walking, I just don't understand. Like, and you guys say, I'm making stuff up? I know all of your guys' lies. I know all your lies. All right? I'm not saying producers told me. I'm not saying one of you people told me. But people talk. And I'm going to start splitting people up. 
So all everything that you've made so far, all these clicks you made, they're gonna be done. All right. Starting with you, Liz. Go for it. All right. Because your love triangle right there. So. All right. Let's uh, let's run that back. Connor, you probably are gonna want to face this camera while you're talking. Oh yeah. You know, just because the people at home. They're not even going to be able to tell who you're looking at yeah. in the lineup. I would just deliver it right here and probably condense it a little bit. All right. How many? How many? Thirty seconds. It's not how long it is. It's just that the, the the you lose impact when you start throwing more words in the mix. Yeah. Maybe more energy, Connor. Really, yeah. really amp it up. Like if you say when you say these people are idiots, that's pretty high impact. And you don't need to immediately follow that up with stuff that's not related to them being idiots. You know what I mean? Because that, that takes the power away from calling them idiots. Yeah. Right? See what I'm saying? Um, maybe just in, in your head, in your mind, think of three to five points that you want to hit. And think of the fastest way to drill those points home to the viewers. Got it. And fastest, I don't mean in terms of time. It could be a 10 minute promo. I mean fastest in terms of like minimal word usage. Yeah. I got something. Okay. Wednesday night, they said that they needed something. They said they needed to bring someone here that would make this a show. They said everyone got dull. All right. They said they need him. I'm him. I walk in, I see everyone there. They're all losers. We got idiots, dumb people, weak people, slow people, overweight people. This competition is just all about him. They said they need it. So you're, uh, um, you want to you want to cut out redundant. It, it it takes away from your power when you repeat something and you're not repeating it for emphasis. So when you say, they called me, they said, like you're saying this, they called me, they said, they called me, they said, I would just hit that once. Okay. I would just be like, Wednesday night, I got a call from the producers of this show. They told me they needed something. What did they need? When I came through the front door, I figured it out. Because everybody in the house looks like an idiot. They needed that X factor. Like just, I'm just saying, if I was telling a story to my mom, or like the way I'm talking to you right now, if I was like, mom, <clears throat> a guy just, a guy just, uh, Cut me off on the road, and I'm going to. I have to go to the hospital, but I'm okay. I'm okay, mom. I'm going. To, I have to go to the hospital though. Like that's in that inst in that circumstance, it's fine that I'm repeating shit. Yeah. Because I'm not trying to threaten my mom, and like make her feel like she's watching a movie. You it's just cut the words down, and and keep track of what you said so you can only say it once. Yeah. If you said it, don't say it again unless you're doing it deliberately. An example of that would be like. These people in this house, they're losers. They're losers. I'm looking at them right now. They're losers. That's like deliberate repetition. Yeah. See what I'm saying? All right, let's go again. Luca, get reset your position there. Let's get that intensity, real, real, real strong intensity. There. And turn it, turn up the intensity too, because look, if you're not turning up the intensity. The whole point of a pro wrestler cutting a promo, this whole thing, right, is intensity. So if you're if you're half-assing it, then don't do it. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. Wednesday, I got a call from the production company. They see they needed someone for the show. I walked in. I knew exactly why. There's losers here. There's overweight people here, and they need him. Got the 
in the right direction. Better. That's in the right direction in terms of cutting out unnecessary communication. Yeah. I do feel like the cadence is. Uh, have you ever recorded yourself and listened to yourself speak? Yeah, it's so. all. Okay. Do you ever um, do you ever listen to yourself without the video on, just the audio? What do you mean? Like you turn the. Oh, oh like was it just. Listen? You don't watch. You just listen. I watch too. You usually watch too. Yeah. You want to? It's it's pretty important to separate them, so you watch with the audio turned off, and that way you can really you really get a sense of what your body language and your gestures, your mannerisms are are doing visually, and then you turn the video off and just listen to the audio, and that's that's the most important part actually. This it's mostly audio. It's seventy percent audio, is uh, that's where everything flows from comedy drama tension it's audio but um let's 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 just try it one more time and talk yourself up you know i know what they needed they needed connor yeah. brush the lean mean fight machine whatever you want to say something like that i mean okay. really really pump yourself up for this one. for the intro imagine the wednesday night when you got the call okay imagine it's dark outside it's raining Something, if there's bad vibes, right? It's like Boston Marathon bombing or something. Like something bad's going on. Something bad's going on outside. You don't know what it is. It's dark. It's like a horror movie. It's like the beginning of a horror movie. Something bad is about to happen. You're pulled over at the side of the road. You get that call. That's where I want your, I want your mind to be in that situation when you're talking about getting the call. Because getting, the, getting a call is not dramatic. Yeah. But the producers called me. They said they wanted Chick-fil-A for lunch. Like that's not a dramatic scenario. So you have to you have to imagine that you are in this horror movie so that you can convey to us. Because if I hear in your voice that you're in a horror movie in your mind, then I'll then I'll feel even though getting a call Wednesday night's not dramatic, I'll feel that it's dramatic, right? Wednesday night, I got a call. The producers of this show said they needed something. I didn't know what. I didn't know what it was until I showed up and I saw these losers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Boom. Okay, go. Wednesday night. I got a call from these producers. They said they needed me. Like. 8 p.m., they needed me to come right now. I came for them. I didn't know why, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I walk in, I just see losers. Losers, losers. They need me for this show or it's gonna get canceled because I'm him. I'm, Con I'm Connor Rush and then talk yourself up a little bit. It's okay, we'll take it. That from was him. great. We'll take it from I'm him. And I think the turn at the end, when you say I'm him, we could go from this, this kind of dramatic, scary thriller movie into you are like horrifyingly egotistical. I'm him. Can't they see that? Why don't they get it? I'm the one. I'm the one that's gonna make this show. They don't get it. They don't, but they will. They're gonna see Carmen Rush. They're gonna see me. Then they'll know. Then they'll know. Like get, get I'm, unraveled. I'm, with instead of saying I'm him, do I'm Himothy. I'm Go I'm get un, so thriller, then unraveled, and say Himothy. Himothy. I'm Himothy. Really let loose. Really, really, right, really let loose. Yeah, yeah. At the end, though. Yeah. So you come unraveled, then we realize you're an egomaniac. Wednesday night. I got a call from the producers. They said they needed me for the show. 8 p.m., they needed me. Right that time, I drove four hours to get here. I walked in, I knew exactly why. They're losers. They don't understand. The show will get canceled if I'm not on it. Because I'm him, I'm Timothy, and I'm taking the show. Even more, come back and even more of a break of your egomaniac breakdown. Oh yeah. I'm the one, I'm the one! They're not watching me, get but they will! Yeah, get lost in it, get lost yeah. in it. Wednesday night, 
Just need, just from the end. Oh yeah. Yeah. From Hemothy? I'm I'm what the show needs. Okay. With that, yeah. I'm what the show needs! None of them see it! I'm getting looked over on! I'm saying stuff! They're talking behind my back! They're not listening to me at all! I am him! I am the show! I think that's about as much as we're gonna get out of them. Yeah. No, Alright, who wants to go next? I'll go. I like. Oh. <laughs> Stick into the same thing? Whatever you want. <laughs> Symbol, uh, act as though this is your last time you'll ever be seen on camera and really, really evoke that emotion, okay? I want to I wanna feel it, Symbol. I want to feel it. Please, please let me feel it, Symbol. Let me, I, w I want to, I am the lion. I am going to roar. This is my pride. I mean, get into it. Please, please, please let me feel something. Let's go, Symbol. Yeah, buddy. Come on, Lion. Let's go. Can you call it, please? Come on. Yep, I'm going to clap you in. In three, two. Famous house. My name is Symbol Karma. Symbol fucking Karma. You have no idea who the fuck I am. You have no clue where I come from. I am going to eat you alive, skin you alive, and drink your fucking blood in front of your fucking eyes. Oh, you don't even know. I am the fucking lion, the alpha king, the alpha lion. This is my pride. This is my fucking house. This is famous house. This is symbol karma's house. So go fuck yourself and go back to your fucking mommies and daddies because this is my show and you are nobody. That's why we call them one take symbol downstairs, by the way. <laughs> Just so you guys know. Thank you. Anybody else? Hello, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Are we all gone or not? Who's next? Bert? Peyton. Peyton, get up there. Uh -oh. Peyton. You Peyton. Me. And Peyton, Peyton, I know that you can get rowdy because Peyton. we saw you yesterday in that yep. in that screen. Well, what, what do I say? What words do I say? That's what I'm confused. Talk about. yourself up, girl. Talk yourself up. Okay, so it's each promo for ourselves, pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or against promo people promo you yourself. hate, whatever. Okay. Good job, dude. Okay. I may lurk in the shadows, but I also watch from there. You see me coming, you see me going, you hear me here and there, but you're never really listening. But you know who does? Peyton. Peyton listens. No matter good, bad, or ugly, I don't give two fucks what you talk about. And when I break, you will hear what I have to talk about. Do you hear me? Love that. Let's take it one more time. That was Can't great. Let's, let's stay on that. Keep that energy, Peyton. Keep that energy. Keep that energy. This show might have been a boys club to start with, but the girls, the girls know everything. Every whisper, every movement, every thought that you have, we have been knowing it. And even the girls know each other. We can watch each other very well and think and know and talk just like you. So when you think, oh, I got my boys, I got my boys, we're good, we got the Brucies, we got this, we got that. I don't care, boy, girl, anything. You will not get past me. You will not cross me. I will see you everywhere. 
Did you say I will see you in hell? Okay. I will see you in hell! Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That was it, Hayden. Yeah. All right, Alexis, get up there. You got this. Yeah. Let's go, Alexis. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want to see you turn up, Alexis. Turn it up all the way. All the way, please. Give me all you got. If this game was picked on by looks, by judgment, I would have been out for the first round. I'm the mom. I'm the sweet, and I'm the kind one. Okay, I like to be that little, uh, I don't know, give me, give me something. I, I know what I want to say, but I can't say it! <laughs> I know what don't I can't say! I don't even know. I don't know what I'm saying. bear, you gotta take everyone apart. You're also like, I'm getting to. Oh, okay. I just don't know what to say, like. Mother of wolves. Um, sorry, I had to like say something to like start my brain. Like, oh, like, I'm cute, I'm pretty, I'm like gorgeous, so I'll kill you, cause I'm the mama bear. <laughs> I'm perceived as sweet and kind and have a big heart. I have a son, I'm a mom. I think everyone sees the tenderness. But what no one really does know is how fucking crazy a mama bear can fucking be! You don't know what she'll do to protect anyone she fucking cares about and you will fucking see one day! That was it. Good job. I'll go. I come off my woods yesterday. You got it. I'm like, I'm running. I'm like, sorry. Alex B, I'll tell you something. I'm the fucking man. I don't know what show y'all been fucking watching. I don't be no juice head, redneck, WWE superstar to fucking act like it. I don't know what the hell y'all looking at. There ain't no competition here. It's just me. It's all there is. No matter how many fish in the sea, it'd be very empty without me. Real empty. Real like. Ghosts, ghosts, no people whispering in corners and stuff like that. They bring in an extra mind me. You know what I mean? We got my lion. I'm the fucking cobra. And this, we gotta protect our pride right now. We're all family, but at the end of it, I'm taking it all. My name is Alex. I'm a cyborg. Hit that line. My name is Alex. I'm a cyborg. I'm a beast. I ain't got no voice. I'd yell if I could, but they don't give me time because they can never recover the shit. I am the mechanical cyborg. I am the mechanical cyborg. I'm the cobra. I'm going to wrap you up and eat you, swallow you whole. I'm a million foot snake. I'm the million foot I'm snake. I'm a snake that's a million feet. I will eat you and regurgitate you. This is my show. I don't know what you think you've been watching. Entertaining or clown town. This is the famous house. Why are you bringing in like the lesser league? Woo! Woo! You got this wrong. I don't think Ron needs any direction. I think you're gonna crush this one. Yeah, you're gonna whip that whistle. I thought he was gonna use that. I thought you were gonna crush it. It's just done well. Yeah, yeah man, but okay. <clears throat> I approach you with the calm to distract you from the storm. I'm an original. This new boy a fucking calm. Tell him to respect the throne before I send his ass home. Oh! <laughs> I'm Bing's Basilisk, and I'll turn you to fucking stone. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know I talk a lot. Yeah, it's on purpose. They say life is mizzy, because I'm here to make you fucking miserable, bitch! It's my fucking show.
<laughs> Can we take that one back, Mizzy? Yeah. One more time. The same thing? More, more energy. OK. You got this. Ramp it up. Really ramp it up, please. Hi, I'm Mizzy. And yeah, I talk a lot. And that's on fucking purpose. Because I say life is Mizzy. And you know what that fucking means? I'm here to make your life fucking miserable, bitch. Maybe elaborate? This seems kind of short. I did like it. I mean, the other people's were like a little shorter than that, I feel like. Maybe, maybe drone on a little bit about how uh, people see you as a sweet girl at first, but there's actually a devil inside of you. Or there's a, you know, there's a fire that nobody else can see except you. And it's going to burn hot. Whatever you want to do, just let the audience know that, uh, you know, you're not what you seem. At first glance, you are not what you seem. Let's take it one more time, Mizzy, and I want that energy really, really high. Please. You got it, Mizzy. Yep. Ugh. You got this. You got it, Mizzy. You got it. Hi, <clears throat> Mizzy. I know when you see me, I am either intimidating or sweet, but actually, I'm a fucking devil inside. I have a fucking fire in here that no one can fucking put out. There's a devil in my head, and the devil horns are starting to come out of my head. There's a devil in my head, and the devil horns are about to fucking come out. Great. Perfect. I love you, God. All right, Bert, let's do it. <laughs> Bert, get, get, get into it, Bert. Really, really get into it. You call this a competition? Please. Look at them, look at me. Why does it even exist? I think the only reasons to me look superior by comparison. I mean, I've got brains, beauty, brawn, and bank, and they've got nothing. They're just total blanks. I'm rich, smart, hot, and athletic. They're broke, dumb, ugly, just fucking pathetic. They've got nothing to offer. They have no reason to exist. Why don't they just fucking kill themselves? It's not like they'll be missed. I'm number one. I'm the alpha. They're nothing compared to me. Like insects to a cane. Keep going, Bert. I've got money, looks, and talent, and they're lacking all three. They're complete fucking losers in every sense of the word. So therefore, I'm going to win this competition. Run it, run it back, Bert. That's not high energy enough for me. I need you to... Um, this is a chance to play that sort of darker character that you want to explore. Oh, OK. You know? How are you yelling well, the other night? Remember how you're yelling the other night? Oh, yeah. you know, Bert, remember the stuff we talked about in the confessional? Yeah. Get, I think you can be a dark character. People know you're, you're playing here. Oh, you can be dark with it. Cool. You call this a competition? Please, look at them and look at me. Let's get an evil what? laugh too, Bert. So start over. You call this a competition, maybe an evil laugh after that, and then keep going. After that, and then keep going. You call this a competition? <laughs> Please. Look at them and look at me. Why do you even exist? The only reason I can think of is to make me look better by comparison. I mean, I've got brains, beauty, brawn, and big, and they've got nothing. They're just full blanks. I'm rich, smart, hot, and athletic, and they're broke, dumb, ugly, just fucking pathetic. They've got nothing to other. They have no reason to exist. I mean, they just fucking kill themselves. It's not like they'll be missed. I'm number one. I'm the alpha. They're nothing compared to me, like insects to a cane. We gotta take it back, Bert. I, I would skip the rhyme. Let's not do the rhyming stuff. Oh, okay. Done that two or three times okay. to them. Um, Talk right. about what you would do to, to these people if there were no laws or ramifications for what you had. Apocalypse scenario, there's no laws, you'll never get caught. Energy, what would you do? I hide. You're, Bert, you're here, I need you here, okay? Okay. What would you do if there were no laws to these people in this house? Uh, if there was no laws, no rules, no regulations, no consequences whatsoever, oh. They'd be fucking scared of me, because I was so many things that they would never even dream of. So many heinous, reprehensible things that, boom, oh, that night they could even dream of the worst nightmares. <laughs> so they should be aware of me, because I could be a bad little boy. And the best part is, they'll never see it coming, because underneath this charm and smile lies a devil, a snake that's waiting to come out of the closet and to show my wreaking havoc all over the fucking place.
I need I that's that was that was good. That was good, but good the direction. energy is not there, Bert. The it's direct direction. Okay. Vance, can you make sure you're nice and, and tight uh, portrait <laughs> oh. style here? <laughs> Bert, just take a breath. Just take a deep breath. Okay. Okay, and amp it up. Amp it up this time, please. Okay. Get in the camera's face. Yeah. And be explicit. Explicit, right. okay. You call this a competition? Ha! Compared to these fuckers, there's nothing compared to me. Like insects to a cake. I've got brains, beauty, brawn, and bank. And these fuckers have nothing compared to me. They're like losers. I mean, fuck. I mean, there's no competition. I'm number one. I'm the alpha. They call, it daddy, they call me daddy for a reason. It's not because I have been fucking gifts. Because I'm the dominant alpha male, and I'm going to show these fuckers who's boss. That was it, Bert. Great. That was the one. <laughs> Time to lay this back down. <laughs> Y'all think I'm just here to clown around? This is my circus. I'm the ring leader here. This house is child's play. Bring the smack down. Oh, God. <laughs> we get one more time. Smack one more time. A little higher energy. A little higher energy this time. Okay. So get ready for the smack attack at the end. I like that. Okay, okay. Y'all think I'm here to just clown around? This is my circus. I'm the ringleader. I'm here to bring the smack down. This house is child's play. What bam Smack attack. Smack attack! So for floor one. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. What else we got? Sorry, Mumu. We, we have to. Uh, I'll just get, that'll be fine. Yeah, let's do it. All right, can I have the crew set up in the room? Yep. Can we get Nate up here to set up the next activity? Okay, y'all, we got something else coming. Just hang out in the den and. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, that's what I've got. What happened to hang out in B3? Yeah, everybody go to hang out in B3. Yeah.